Hi, Lisa. See, it's Aaron, Mitha Elmer. Um, today, I got this monstrous box in the mail. And this box has been a couple months in the making. And I have to thank a few people for this first. Um, first off, I'd like to thank uh, my good friend JC from the flip side for uh, putting in the time and effort to, you know, go in and helping me do this. This is, the, uh, he sent this to me. It's not a VCLT. I bought this. But he took some videos of a store for me and um, I picked out what I wanted to buy and he spent a lot of time doing this. I know his girlfriend Michelle helped too and I thank you uh, JC and Michelle, thank you so much for doing this. And I'd like to thank Roger at Purchase Street Records for um, making this possible. And I got a bunch of records I've been really wanting and let's see what I got here. Now I know what they are because I picked them out, but it's been a while, so I kind of half forgot what they are. And I just got this today in the mail, and um, it was a. Uh, and Roger, thank you so much. He's the uh, the worker or owner. I'm not sure. Purchase Street Records, and um, he was really cool to deal with. And JC, thank you, thank you, Michelle, JC, all you guys, and uh, I can't wait to get into this. Um, so I was at work earlier, and they tried to deliver it, but it required a signature because it's so big. And um, so I had to wait until it was delivered to my actual uh, post office. Went down there and I just went and picked it up. And let's see what we got here. So I know this is going to be some great hard rock metal records. And um, and it looks like Roger from Purchase Street threw in some things from the store, which is really cool. So first off, we got Always Buying, Always Selling. This is a Purchase Street Records. That's in uh, Massachusetts, New Bedford, Massachusetts. And I'm in a little, a, a small town here in Idaho, so I uh, was saying it's hard for me to get a lot of this stuff, so that's why I did this. And then, this is so, this is cool, Purchase Street Records hat, very cool. And, oh, this is cool. <laughs> this shirt, Purchase Street Records, all right. So if I ever visit JC, if I ever visit you JC in Massachusetts, I will be going first thing to this store. <laughs> And um, there's also this bag here. This is, um, let's see. Live by the guns, die by the guns, LA guns. So this is a, a record bag, which, that's very cool. So thank you, Roger, for throwing those extras in. And first up, I got this, this I used to have this on cassette back years ago, and I have one of their other records. This is uh, Shy, and I was missing this record very cool and then we got some some Joe Satriani surfing with the alien I don't have a whole lot of him I'm, I'm still looking for flying in the blue dream which is my favorite this is my second favorite by him so I was very happy to pick this one up um, got some vamp and this is I used to have this on cassette too and I don't have it anymore so I know this album pretty good uh, glam rock Here's one I've been wanting for a long time. This is House of Lords debut. I have this on cassette still. <laughs> I've been front fun of vinyl for years. So all this killer stuff here. And then I got some, uh, this is Terror Rising from Lizzie Borden. Another really cool one. So I know what I'm doing next Tuesday. I'll be listening to a bunch of this stuff for sure. <laughs> we got uh, Nothing is Sacred by the Gods. Really like the Gods. Pretty cool there. And <laughs> Kane Roberts, he was a guitarist for uh, Alice Cooper on Razor Fist and Yell and Constrictor. Killer guitarist. Along with Kip Winger, was also in that band with Alice Cooper at that point. This band I discovered when I was in Salt Lake City. I think they're a local Salt Lake band. And this is Britain with Rock Hard. And I used to have a Britain CD. I don't know if this is the one. It doesn't look like this is the one, but I really like the CD I used to have of them. And my ex actually kept the CD when we broke up, so I haven't heard them in 20 years probably. Britain, pretty cool band. This one here is a sealed copy of Steeler, which I was missing. This, of course, has Ron Keel and Ingve Malmsteen. Very cool, Steeler. Can't wait to be playing that one. Actually never heard it, but I do like the people in the band. Here we go. This is a, a great one here. I I don't have any Voivod on vinyl until now. So I got Infinity from Voivod. I haven't heard this album. 
great stuff, but I love everything I've ever heard by Voivod. They're a really great band. This is sealed. And <laughs> another sealed Voivod. This is War and Pain. So starting my Voivod vinyl collection. Great, great band from Canada. Love them. And uh, I'm trying to get their stuff on vinyl. And here's one, one of the last two I'm missing of the Iron Maiden studio records. Now I only need Fear of the Dark, but this is Virtual Eleven with Blaze Bailey. And um, I've been talking about um, The X Factor is one of my favorite Maiden records. And this one here, I haven't heard in a long time. I remember I liked it a lot too, but I have not, I don't really remember it all that well. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Of course, I know the song The Clownsman, Angel in the Gambler. I guess I do know it. So this is a great record. Um, love Blaze Bailey. Uh, ever since he was in Wolfsbane, and I'm very excited to get that. So now I'm only missing Fear of the Dark, and I'll have the entire um, discography of Iron Maiden on vinyl. And this is one I've been looking for forever, Junkyard. Love this album. Hollywood, I believe, is on here. That's... Nope, That's this must be a different one. That's cool. Love Junkyard, so happy to get that. And this one here was um, recommended to me from JC. Thank you, JC. This is Bad Marriage. And I've never heard this yet, so I'm excited to hear this. Purchase Street Records vinyl. So it's a label from that store. Very cool. Can't wait to listen to this. Oh, here's one. this one here, man. Plays at 45, 30th Anniversary Edition. Wicked Sensation Reimagined. And this is a grail of mine. Love this record. Man, so cool. So I can't wait to spin this one. Love Lynch Mob. This is a great record. And this one here I never knew was out on vinyl. Um, I have the cassettes of it. And it's one of my favorite bands, so I had to grab it. Double Live Assassins from Wasp. Love this album. This was on the tour for their... Um, KFD record, so it's got some stuff from there and a lot of the earlier stuff. Really good album. I love this. I, I still have my cassettes of it and it's great. This one here I picked up. Um, yeah, this is a Macaulay Shanker group. Great stuff. I haven't, I haven't had this for since uh, the late 80s. Along with this one. And this one is, a, is an all-time favorite of mine. This is a TNT with Tell No Tales. Love this album. And then what else we got here? I think we're down to almost the end. Um, this is, <laughs> love this band. I've never heard this record, but I saw it and yes, Raging Slab. I love them. I used to have a couple of sets of them. I don't think this was one of them, but I'm really looking forward to hearing this. They are a great band, Raging Slab. Oh yeah, there is some more. <laughs> got The Rods promo copy very cool i love them have a couple albums by them and i saw a couple others so i said yes i need those rods records and wild dogs from the rods great stuff love the rods they're a great underrated band and this one here i used to have on cassette as well this is a great album kings of the sun love this great album i haven't heard it in years and Wow, there's still some more in here. It just keeps going. And uh, here we go. This one, I've, I've been wanting this uh, forever on vinyl. This is Jet Boy with Feel the Shake. Love this album. Killer, killer stuff here. Love Jet Boy. That title song is just so amazing. And this one here, London. And let's see who's on this. It has Nadir Priest, who I knew, Lizzie Gray, Freddie Curry from Cinderella on the drums, Brian West on the bass. Um, I have a, a De Priest album, which is London kind of after this, and I love it. So, love London. Happy to get that. And The Second Kingdom Come, In Your Face. Great record. Used to have this. Haven't heard it in probably 25 years. But I remember I liked this better than their first one. So, I can't wait to spin that. And here's one I've been... Let's see what we got here. If I can get them out. They're kind of stuck here at the bottom. I think there's one or two more. I can get them out. Okay. <laughs> Backed in here really good. This last one here. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. 
So uh, up next, um, got some Femme Fatale. Great glam rock band, female singer, killer, killer stuff. Used to have this as well. And this one here, I'm really, really excited about. I used to have this as well on cassette, and I don't have it anymore. It's Doro with Force, Force Majeure. Doro's one of my very favorite female vocalists. Uh, of course, Doro Pesh from Warlock. Very cool. Man, I'm going to be so busy this week spending all this stuff. So there's my haul there. And um, like I said, thank you very much, JC, Michelle, Purchase Street Records, all of you. Um, amazing. And... Um, Everyone check out Purchase Street Records in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Cool stuff. And thank you, Roger, for uh, backing all this up for me. And the extras, very cool of you. And um, I will be listening to these and let you know what I think of them. There's a few here I don't know, a few I do know, so it's just a mix. So, All right, everybody, have a great one, and uh, I will see you later.